Right, so we're back at the boat, eventually. I've had to stay away for a few weeks. Uh, obviously that is something I can say about another time, but personal matter, my family. But, I've decided that I want to try and do the head, which also is the bathroom. I started this the other week. The problem I had is these valves going down to the seacocks. It's like nature's way of welding things together, time. Yeah. So I've managed to swap the, this inch one. I've got the three quarter inch, I think it was, or was it the half inch? It's been that long, I forgot. Also I've got the small one, the water inlet. I've got a water outlet for the sink. I have another one underneath here, which I don't know if you're able to see, for the sink that's here. I've managed to change all Put this inch in a quarter and I've, it just turns everything round plus it's that big if you look at it just put it in comparison that's how big the spanner needs to be and i've got a very small handled one so you can imagine you can't get the leverage on it so today's mission find a spanner or another adjustable that's longer but will reach as open far open as that that's going to be a mission. The other good thing that I have actually done, excuse all this, oh, there's my phone, is I actually got some power going through this yesterday. The system, the old TV is a 12 volt uh, old style television, which works. I was shocked, but you can see a new addition here. I've actually got a solar charger controller, MPPT one in and a solar panel which i'll show you in a minute which is really great and if you can see here we'll light it up a bit just so you can see there you go i'm actually getting 39.3 volts coming through the solar panel and i'm actually charging the battery up at the moment which says it's fully charged so 14.7 volts going through that's only attached to one battery at the moment so I need to get it attached to both of the batteries on there. Then I've got two, say 200 amp hours. I'll actually show you the solar panel now. Now this isn't where it's staying, but I just had to put it up here. As you can see, this is 325 watts at 24 volts. It's 1.68 meters long by a meter wide. So definitely definitely give me enough power now of course you might think why am i doing 24 volt panel when i'm actually on a 12 volt system well it was because one that solar panel was only 90 pounds so i just thought that's an absolute bargain because you normally spend 100 pound on a panel that's about 150 watt so I couldn't refuse buying that one. Plus then I thought with an MPPT charger controller or charge control unit, it'll actually manage it and make it just as efficient, if not more. So now I've got 40 volts coming through all the time at 24 volt. Uh, sorry, I've got a 24 volt um, panel. So it just means that the cables as well don't need to be as big because the amperage is lower like that's going through it all with the current and everything so it it makes it a lot easier and safer in my eyes plus i've always got 40 amps uh, 40 volts coming through and the amps are going to be kept low as i said but it means it can actually manage it even on low lighting so i tested it last night and i put i put it in yesterday it was charging the batteries and it was about it was about half seven at night last night and the sun's nothing really in comparison. It's not your sun hours, as you call with with solar panels. But yet, there was still enough power coming through to charge the battery well, which I was quite shocked at. It was still putting like the 12 to 13 volts through to charge the battery. I was quite happy with that as well. So it, obviously this manages it. It gets a maximum power performance or something. I forgot exactly what it stands for, but it, it works. And I was shocked, so I was happy with that. But anyway, today now I need to try and sort some spanners out uh, for these valves for the head. 
and I also need to get another spanner for the the engine as well because I've I bought another engine mount a beta engine you can see the box over there you should be able to see the box there yeah well I, put, I did put it on yesterday but forgot to record it but what we'll do today is I'll actually pull the things out and while I'm trying to adjust and set them up you better see um what how we're doing it then and the putting an engine mount on is not the hard bit adjusting them to the right level that's the harder part and having the spanners at work with it so I need 24 mil spanners by the looks of it so Halfords here I come maybe or maybe being Cuba Wicks we'll see Halfords is closer uh, right so we'll better shoot off get that and maybe get a bit of breakfast as well I'm not eating yet and love the mess you get it all tidy and then it gets all messy again oh and at the back here I actually have a new Genoa sail um, I do, did take a picture of that pulled out yesterday evening uh, I can't put it up yet at the moment because the furling is actually stuck at the top with the, the line for it so I need to try and get up there to get that and bring pull that back down again before I can put this sail on and but we'll get there right we'll see you all later and uh, we'll have more of an update well just spent about two and a half three hours looking for a spanner to fit that size which is about 40 mil all I found was a big bleeping wrench I've been stuck in traffic queues everywhere it's been insane for some reason everybody is out in Gosport and Farnham today no idea why that's where the cookie crumbles I bought the little hose valves if you may say for the valves going on to the uh, inlets and outlets I've got that I'm also just stopping for some food because I still haven't eaten yet so that always helps is uh, and it's back to the bolt and try and get it all fitted on with any luck get onto the engine sort them mounts out properly might try and sand the rudder down as well put a lick of paint on it see if I can hang it see how it looks keep going don't we <laughs> right food time next bit should be in the boat right made a mistake thought I'd press record and I hadn't we all make mistakes don't we so I've got this off we got it so the big wrench here one in ears there you go did the job nicely got that wedged in the side and this one managed to turn it off so I'll clean it all up put the new one on have everything all set up properly and nicely then if we're lucky it's amazing when you get a tool that does the job right, makes it a lot easy, easier. Excuse the music. Next job is for these. And as you can probably see it here a bit easier. This is the engine mount. I've got another one the same on this side here. But this makes it a lot harder because the oil filter gets in the way. So these spanners should be able to go on. One on the top, one on the bottom. And then I can loosen that one off and get it to the level that it needs to go to. Ready to get it set up in line with the prop. So, obviously you've got, this is your engine and this is your propeller shaft. If you have it like this, and, you, and this is turning, this is going to go like this. So we need to make sure, right, let's do it this way around, it might be a bit easier. We've got to make sure that these join together perfectly straight. So when it turns, it turns on the same axis, nice and straight. If you're off and it turns, then that's what happens. We need it to be in here, 
So when it turns, it keeps it straight. If you're off, it just comes out, snaps everything, and well, you don't want that. Kind of need your engine as a backup. So, that's another job. So, let's see if we can get this done. Eh? Two spanners. A persuader, also known as a hammer. And we made this so you can see a lot better. Took the, the, the top off. Here is the mount. So I'm going to loosen this off, bring it up. This needs this gap here needs to be higher up, from what I can see. But we'll get there. So you can have the fun watching me try to do this. And that's why you watch your fingers. Escaping. No escaping the hard work. Right, I might have to go this side. I need the leverage. as well and I think I should have got 23 mils instead of 24 looks like this side's a 23 and the other side's a 24 ah, but we did it bit of brute strength always works Glad we got that bit done. You can see. So now we need to lift it up. Unscrew the bottom one set to lift it. as close as possible and then what I'll do is I'll actually get the engineer to do it properly with the millimeter gauges in it because you want to have it perfect so if you don't get this right it's gonna start like said it's not gonna turn straight it's gonna be like this and we don't want it to bend we don't want it to snap we want it to be as perfect as it can be and it lasts a lot longer and it's a lot safer then as well don't fancy being in the middle of the ocean and not having an engine well not having a, a propeller but we'll see right well, yeah so we've lifted it up a bit already as you can see from that side to that it's at least it's loose and we know roughly it's the same and until we can measure exactly You can't, you can't see from here on the other side of the engine is where the prop is and we'll show you that one shortly right recording on the phone because the battery's just gone on the gopro just what we needed all right so i've put we've got all the the mounts in for the engine with the pipe i've raised them up 
you in here you see might need to raise them a bit more this one here just around the other side I've got a bolt going through not tighten but just to help hold it in place because I think this seems to be quite a good place for the engine to be at the moment there's a room all the way around it's not too far protruding this way it's not too far that way the prop itself here as you can see will move for it until so we've got the room I have to check outside because we might need to put a zinc some zinc on the outside of it if not right next to it just to help I think as you can see here there's a gap here still so I need to lift the back up and I also think I need to lift the front up slightly but the back will need to come a bit further I think just to keep it all in line but I'll lift the front up slightly this side so here I'll lift the front up get that in line and we'll lift the back up as well we've still got a bit of room to be able to do that so that'll be the next step the battery so far right back to it